Once your survey is set up, Question Pro provides you with various options for inviting respondents. This short video will demonstrate a few of the options available. Every survey created in Question Pro has a unique survey URL that can be posted or shared via any means. You can also customize your own unique survey URL to correspond to your organization's branding or the purpose of the survey. To send respondents an email invitation to your survey, enter one email address per line here. Enter your subject and your body text and click Send. For a personal touch, the Send Email Invitation tool also allows you to customize the subject line and the body of your emails with use of replacement variables or custom fields. We'll get back to custom fields in just a moment. The code found on the Website Intercept tab provides blog and website publishers a short code snippet so that respondents never have to leave their sites. Your options here include the Embed Pop-Up Survey tool, which creates a lightbox survey that pops right off of your web page, a Feedback tab that lives on the side of the web page so visitors can leave feedback on your site, and the Simple Website Pop-Up which creates a new window for the survey when the link is clicked. Question Pro understands where your potential respondents are spending their time, so we've added a couple of tools to post directly to Facebook and Twitter, two of the most well-used social sites on the web. Just sign into your accounts here and create your update. When you're emailing invitations, you may not want to send all your respondents the same invitation. Clicking into the Edit options of your survey, you can create up to 10 separate email invitations per survey, which can include rich HTML with images and links. If you'd like to track the results of which of these invitations has been getting the most clicks, or to see if a specific user or group of users was clicking, you can use Question Pro's Survey Tracking tool. It's as easy as using the drop-down to include the auto-generated shortcode tag in your email. Likewise, if you'd like to ensure that the survey respondents remain anonymous, you can add an anonymous survey tag to your invitation text. On the Manage Invitations menu, you have the option of editing the from name and address that appears on your invitations. Here you can also customize a personal link text. Question Pro makes it easy to create and manage multiple email lists. In creating your lists, you have two options. You can either make the list survey specific, or you can save it globally so that it can be reused for other Question Pro surveys you create and distribute later on. You can add email addresses to your list manually by typing or copying them into the text area here, one per line, or you can use the CSV Excel upload tool. The file upload is how you should upload your contacts if you're planning on leveraging the custom fields feature which allows you to include other information, like respondents' departments or regional offices, in your invitations. After you've sent your surveys, you may want to refer back to them from the Sent Items tab. Here, you have recent email delivery stats, as well as email batch history to review. The Send Reminder button here will send a follow-up reminder with your invitation link to any respondents falling under the Pending or Viewed status. For more about sending surveys, search the Question Pro knowledge base for Send Survey, Survey Tracking, and Custom Variables. You can also contact Question Pro's technical support staff via live chat 24 hours a day, Monday through Friday.